Hello everyone. Thank you for letting me share my ERC application experience. Before I start, I want to thank Joe, Liz, James, Wiki, and many other colleagues for their incredible support during my application. In my presentation, I will be discussing three main points. Firstly, I will dive into the key criteria for an ERC starting grant. Then I will share my own application story. Finally, I will address some burning questions you may have. The ERC grant, particularly starting grant, is available to early career researchers two to seven years after PhD. The key criteria is almost identical to the consolidated grant. This includes the research idea. The project should be high risk, but have the high potential for high, high gain. Scientific approach it should be both innovative, but also feasible. The PI should have a strong track record and relevant expertise. I'm sharing my own application story here. Initially, I intended to apply for the ERC grants two years ago. I had a very ambitious idea. However, after discussing it with others, I came to realize that the feasibility is quite low. Consequently, I had chosen to defer my application. I told myself not to rush, as ERC has a blocking mechanism. Otherwise, I will lose the next chance. Basically, I need an idea closer to my profile. So why on my summer holiday in Congo, I observed the effect of coastal erosion. This actually served as an inspiration. I asked myself, how can the water cause the major damage on the rocks over the time? It must be combination of the mechanical and environmental effects. To figure it out, I started to read many papers and found there are still many open challenges in this field. I believe I can make a strong case for the ERC grant. Then I started to write my proposal, which took about three months, a mini proposal for six pages and an extended proposal for 14 pages. Joe and James gave some very helpful comment I revise it, revise it many times until it reached a good shape. Basically, no major flaws, flaws before the submissions. After submissions, it took about five months to receive the message from ERC. I was invited to the interview. Then I de dedicated a rigorous three, to mo three months to thorough preparations had a five mock interview and many one-to-one -one meetings with my colleagues. Then I attended the interview. They asked me a lot of technical questions and some questions around the feasibility. Basically, any confusion or lack of clarity in the proposal can be picked up. So be careful with every sentence you write. After one month, I received a successful outcome. I was very happy and really relieved. Then I read the review reports and the panel comments. Most of them are very positive, some concern on the feasibility. The panel actually gave a very good indication, mentioned that I had an excellent track record, international visibility, and the required expertise to deliver the project. So let me talk about a bit more on my research idea. My research proposal is about the liquid solid impact. This refers to the collision between high velocity liquid and solid. This is not only a long standing fundamental challenge, but also has many important applications. For example, the wind turbine blade. In service, the tip speed of the wind turbines can reach over 100 meters per second and collide with the rain droplet, causing faster leading edge erosion, just like this animation shows, where 
in the lab trying to reproduce the rain droplet impact on the wind turbine blade. It can actually cause a very significant damage on the blade. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the damage mechanism and also develop some new durable materials. The state of art in this area is we found out that I found out that the effect of material microstructure, temperature, and humidity on the damage is still unclear. Therefore, I propose this idea trying to really understand the damage mechanism and develop some new materials. You may ask the questions, why did I choose this idea? In fact, a good idea is halfway to success. You have to identify your interests and expertise. Choose the field where you have a solid foundation of knowledge and a genuine passion for explorations. For me, I had a good experience in mechanics material and extreme loading conditions, including impact loading or environmental conditions. This is very relevant to the liquid solid impact. And then I look for some knowledge gap in these areas. The ERC actually plays a strong emphasis on projects that can push the boundary of the knowledge and address some challenging questions. And certainly you have to demonstrate the innovation and the novelty in your proposal. It's, crucial, it's actually very crucial, like the proposal stand out from existing research and present some unique approach or hypothesis. And don't be afraid to propose some ambitious but rewarding ideas. Make sure the proposal is scientifically sound and feasible. In my proposal, I propose to develop a lifelike material that has a bio-inspired microstructure and can self-heal themselves. It is very challenging, but if successful, it can save a huge amount of maintenance cost. Many interview questions I got were about this area, about the feasibility and how I'm going to deliver them in detail. And lastly, interdisciplinary approach, because interdisciplinary approach actually provide a complete view of complex issues, blending some insight from various disciplines. In my case, I have to bridge solid mechanics, material science, and data science to actually have a proper understanding and do some material optimization. And the second question you may ask, how to balance the risk and the feasibility? I would firstly clearly define some objectives, make sure they're ambitious, but still have the potential for significant impact. For me, I want to understand the liquid solid impact mechanism and use the knowledge to guide the material development. Some preliminary data or proof of concept will support the feasibility of your research approach. This actually can demonstrate that you have already taken some steps to mitigate some of the risk. Before I submit my proposal, I have generated some preliminary simulation results. After I submitted, uh, after I submitted the proposal, I started generating some experimental results, which helped my interview a lot. The panel asked many questions about the feasibility. When I actually show my previous preliminary results, it definitely reassured them. It helped them to gain the confidence. And risk assessment mitigation strategy, you have to show that you have considered the challenge and have a plan to address them. I, should, I, I always suggest to start with a low risk first followed by some high-risk working packages. And interdisciplinary collaborations, you want to collaborate with experts from the complementary field. This can mitigate the risk by leveraging a diverse range of expertise and, and some potential 
weak point in your proposal. In my proposal, a particularly high-risk area is the material development. Therefore, I actually mention strong collaborators in this field that can strengthen it. Lastly, you may ask me why they are looking at high track record. How are you going to make yourself stand out? So I suggest you to grow your profile. You can specialize and excel in your field, develop deep expertise in a specific area. This could be within the discipline where you have a strong interest and can make significant contributions. You also want to regularly publish some high quality work in some high prestigious journals, conferences, and focus on producing really high quality and impactful contributions. You also want to develop a network, attending conference seminars, workshops, can actually engage with your colleagues, mentors, experts. And building some professional network can open doors for collaborations as well. You also want to share your work, your insight via social media, an online platform like LinkedIn, Tweets, ResearchGate, etc. to boost your visibilities. You never know who is your reviewers. If your review already know you by some chance in the social media, they may have a, a good impressions in their mind. So before I submitted my proposal to ERC, I made sure I have a solid track record. This involving some high quality publications, a well-sized research group, an international reputations, and successfully obtaining some grants. So lastly, I want to summarize by saying that ERC is always looking for scientific excellence. This include exceptional, exceptional scientific excellence and innovations, clear and feasible methodologies, and a strong track record um, of PI. I want to conclude by saying that sometimes you do need a break to think a good idea. Just like my story, I was inspired by the nature. So good luck with your applications. Thank you for your listening. Good luck with your applications.